Des, what do you say to your players after an effort like that? Yeah, I guess you got kind of game like that that gives you plenty to write about, so many angles and different ways to go about it. But um, at the end of the day, we'll walk away uh, without the two points. Uh, we just had a talk about it then, and, uh, and we think there's plenty of uh, uh, good things that we can take away from this game. Uh, certainly, uh, it was a very young side, so uh, I think it's, uh, uh, from an experienced point of view, um, uh, there's plenty to, uh, to get out of it. Uh, the harsher side of it, there were probably times in there where we, you know, we, we had the lead like 10 to after 27 minutes and we got lost it, then we got back in front. So uh, and that was all in sort of 40, 40 minutes of football. Um, so there were some, you know, some decisions there, some uh, um, you know, improvement that we can find in there, particularly against a side like South Sydney, like that was probably their best, their best forward pack that they could put on there today. So. Um, it's not as if not they're not uh, an experienced side. So, uh, but yeah, they were pretty calm about it, and they uh, they held their nerve, and they still put on 40 points. But um, they will walk away with um, um, a lesson uh, learnt, and uh, uh, we've got to come back to Bookie next week now, and um, come back out and uh, really uh, back ourselves uh, um, against the rejuvenated Tigers side. So. Um, I believe we'll see where it goes from there. The send off seemed to galvanise the team, but what did you think of the incident itself? For Carl Lawton, yeah, no, it's it's not a good one going by the standards that they're, they're working tackles. Um, he, um, he's devastated, the poor kid. He's such a such a hard uh, hard worker. You know, he he, he plays uh, the game at, uh, at at pace. He's uh, such a nice. Uh, uh, temperate in that, so there was no certainly no malice uh, uh, in the tackle, but um, uh, it was um, at the same time uh, there will probably uh, there be some, some consequences to face uh, on that tackle. Uh, would you send him or would you sin bin? Um, I, 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 yeah, I thought maybe uh, a decision um, uh, could have been uh, disputed there, but. Um, um, but either way, um, he wasn't going to stay on the field, so we'll leave it to the uh, judiciary to judge that one now. Daly, uh, what did you think, Daly, in the moment? It kind of happened, obviously, very quickly in the set. What did you think? Yeah, at the mo in the moment, you just gutted that you're losing a play for the whole game, so it's a really big consequence to face, but, you know, we've got the officials making those tough decisions for a reason. They're trying to protect the players, and we just have to back they're doing the right thing. But uh, again, like, sort of backing up what Des said, as Carl as a person, He's so disappointed because he just doesn't do that stuff to yeah. intentionally ever hurt someone. So he's gutted. He feels like he's let us down. But um, you know, we should get around him and make sure he's all right. He's such a good fellow. Like Des said, he's never trying to hurt someone like that. Should there have to be a level of intent there for a player to be sent off for a foul, a foul play? Uh, I think you know it, it, it measured. He was going to be. It was going to be, you know, the way they've been judging tackles and the way it was going to go. There, you know, it was a one-on-one, -on -one, uh, but there was certainly uh, enough evidence there for, you know, uh, he was going to be, as I said, he was going to leave the field um, some way, whether it be a sin bin or whether it be um, um, uh, uh, sending him <coughs> off. So uh, the referee chose him, chose to send him off. So we'll have to wear that and see what happens at judiciary. Do you think the Ravalawa Tupo incident from last week had any bearing on the Sorry? decision made? Do you think, do you think the Ravalawa or Tupo incident from last week had any bearing oh, on it? Um, oh, you caught me up. I'm, I probably have to watch it. I haven't really sort of seen that one closely. But uh, so I, I'd be, I'd be naive, I'd be naive trying to um, offer an opinion on that one. Sorry about that. Just how's Brad Parker? Was it his knee or calf? Or yeah, he, uh, he's, he's twisted his knee, so we'll have a scan on that and uh, uh, we'll see uh, see how it comes up. Uh, I thought uh, a, a young Tolu and um, um, uh, and Benny uh, Trevojevic when he came on did a um, did a, a good job. Um, uh, we still, you know, we've got Morgan Harper in the wings as well, and then uh, we'll probably probably. Uh, uh, get a couple back next week, so we'll, we'll definitely get um, uh, Molly uh, one back, and uh, and the possibility um, of um, of Tommy as well. So um, there's some good news there.
Yeah, he was effective. Yeah, he, he surprised me actually, um, uh, given the way that um, uh, the length of time he's had off, and uh, he's had no uh, no off season at all. Um, uh, he was injured uh, during his prep uh, uh, through COVID and the calf, so um, uh, uh, the high performance unit and, uh, and the fitness work that they've done with him prepared him really well. So um, um, and um, yeah, we'll build on that. There's a bit of talk. He wants to play six. What's the what's the long term vision there for him? Uh, is, he a, is he a future five eight? What do you mean? By, uh, what, what talk are you talking about? Sorry. So what are you talking about? What what talk about six? Reports basically come out that Josh uh, Houston wants to be the long term. Where did you see the reports? Where were the, where were the reports? The reports. I'm just the reports. Where, where are the reports? If you read the room, though. It, Josh Schuster wants to be the five eight. Uh, there's, in, there's that intent, you know, and there's that opportunity further down the road. But at the moment, uh, you know, he's he's doing a great job uh, playing where he is, and it, where he's playing it serves the side really well. Yeah. On the flip side, Des, Kieran Vaughan's doing an excellent job. He is.